a chef. I'm trying to make two minute noodles. Uh, so far it's been taking me around 20 minutes to just get boiling water here. Should Would this be my hand if I pick it up? I don't know. It's uh, I feel, I don't feel confident about this. Oh. This will do it. Okay. Fuck. That's hot. Okay, um. So, what now? This is hard. Alright. Okay, I just got burned severely. Coolly, yeah. So, um. Do I just like throw it in there? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um. Okay. So, that's good. It's in there. And, um. I just guess you pour this. I guess it doesn't pour. What a. Oh, shit. No, don't. Oh my god! You see, I'm pretty sure this is the first time anybody has like failed at making something that says it works for two minutes. It has three instructions, yet I managed to burn myself around eight times. Alright, so now I'm kind of stuck just leaving it here. Where do I put it? Okay, that's full of crap. Um, how about I just put it here? There you go. Oh. Is that supposed to be happening? It just made the most alarming noise I've ever heard. Whoa. Okay, what's going on? Oh my god, what? What's, what's happening? Should I get closer? <laughs> how do you. I smell. Oh crap, how do you turn this off? Um, okay, 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 this knob is sideways. So I guess you just make it up. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I think it's about to blow up. All right. Um. This is this isn't good. This is not good. Um. Okay. What the hell is that? Can you hear that? This is bad. Okay. Yeah, actually looks pretty good. I'm just going to put it back. And notice how there's like wa water dripping over around here. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it on a little bit. All right. So for the best. All right, this is this is bad. This is not good. Uh, oh. Oh no. Okay, so you know how I turned that one? I turned it slightly back on again. Turns out this was the wrong one. <laughs> that turned on this one. So now, which was the one that I put the spoon on. So I kind of burnt the spoon, which adds to more problems that I'm having. Um, so I guess I'm going to turn the right one on now. Like that, that should do the trick. So in addition to more problems to clean up the mess that I made I used a cloth which I did not know that was replaced with a sham wow um it was done without my knowings so I just used it like a regular cloth I squeezed it little did I know that the sham wow held so much liquid that the liquid would go everywhere so now I have more to clean up lucky me and I'll set this here I just got some Awesome news. So my brother, he is, I think he's 28, he's been training um, for quite a while now and he's officially been accepted into the Air Force. So um, he's not going to be fighting or anything, he's, uh, he's going to be doing linguistics, which is basically just uh, like code and that, I think it is. So, which is awesome. So go Australia. Yeah. Um, also, I thought of something fun that we could do. Um, I know a lot of you are from worldwide, uh, from worldwide, yeah, so I thought that you could post in the comments below what country you're patriotic for, so if you're from Canada, I know a lot of you are from Canada, then just go like, woo, Canada, or woo, America, or whatever, 
um, then you can. <laughs> We're in New York, but um, yeah. So, but but here's the rules. So there has to be six O's in the woo, and the um, every second O has to be capitalized, and also every uh, no no the W has to, that has to be one W, and has to be capitalized. So this sh it should look like something like this. So I've just remembered why I stopped using this for the vlogs, my Kodak ZX1. I think I used it for the first 80 days for vlogging. Then I, oops, then I dropped it and I stopped. See, it started. It was good. I bought it for sixty dollars, and it worked actually really nicely. Except here are the flaws. You see, if I turn it on, then this isn't a white balance issue. Everything is actually this bright. The white balance is always way off. Like that. And also, like, you can tell if you hit something like this, it turns off. That's natural, right? But, with this, like it's on, and then, like, if you put it down, you say you want to just put it on, like, a, a, tr a desk or something, just put it down, and that, that sets it off. Like, the tiniest little shake. That's weird, eh? Oh, I'm getting a message on the... I'm getting a message on the Twitters, the, the Twitters YouTube, the, the you twit twitty thing, the twitty twit pick. Okay, so, um, you know I like to put random stuff on my walls, the only thing that's actually kind of normal is this. Um, everything else, I've got CDs, oh, two CDs fell down, that's crap, I've got to replace those. Um, got some cards. This is just completely random crap, but, yeah, uh, nah, nah. Right, there's some hair on my mouth, but, <laughs> but what I did now is truly epic, so, get ready for the thrill of a lifetime. Oh, can you see that? I don't know if you can, I'm just going to show you, so this is on my ceiling, I thought that was um, a smart thing to do. So if you're wondering how to get nice lighting for your videos, your main channel videos, uh, some of you asked me what I use to soften my lights. What I used to use for everything except now was um, I used just a normal piece of uh, white cardboard and then I face the lights backwards, shine them up, so that it would um, use a reflection. It would it would use the reflection as a reflector. You can buy a real reflector for five bucks, but I'm popular, so I just use a white piece of cardboard to just um, kind of move it up. Uh, and I found a new way to soften lighting. Um, so these are the lights that I use. As you see, if you turn them on just uh, just raw, then they leave a very harsh kind of light. They they cast every little shadow that you make. And it, it just really doesn't look good. Now this is a bit of a shower curtain. I just cut a bit of shower curtain off. And then if you just put it in front of the light, just uh, leave it over like this. So I just um, shove it over like that. Then look how much better that looks. It's all it's all softened. And that, so this is what it looks like from the front. Just, uh, just whack it over. And just compare the... Um, just compare the light. It's a lot brighter without it, but just look at this. So this is the softened version. And look how much harsher this is. It just doesn't look good. So that's what I use to um, soften the lights. Or if you just want a half and half, you can just kind of chuck it over there like that. I just made that up. I've never actually done that before, but it seems to work. Oh, never mind. I actually didn't get any of the lights in there. Nice job, Jack. In fact, the reason why I had the lights on the drum kit, I just felt like showing you the lights, was because I'm about to film an actual drum cover. Got everything set up here. Got the main camera over there. Got the lights, as I just demonstrated. Got the camera here to follow the pedals. Um, the drum's connected up to the mixer. Then the mixer's connected up to this so yeah let's get going yeah so after nine attempts of that drum cover you can see because I got it zoomed out here 
see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I pretty much failed, and I am so angry at myself, mainly because it's, I get, after being on two years of the internet, it's hard to believe, but I am still, like, I'm camera shy, uh, especially with drums, because I don't think I'm that good, to be honest. I don't know why I'm putting them up, I've got some good reviews, so I'm just putting them up, I don't know why I'm nervous, but I always am, and I just keep screwing up, and I can't get it right. So I think I'm going to take five and just do the do it tomorrow. No, no need to rush anyway. So yeah, um, do you want to see the video of me getting pissed off after failing? Here we go. <laughs> 